Well, you could say it's one of the worst things about being a woman. Hot flushes, drastic mood swings and a lack of sleep. It's enough to drive anyone crazy. And that's not even the start. We're talking about menopause and it can hit women of all ages. But although it's unavoidable, it doesn't have to be completely unpleasant. And here to talk more about managing menopause is fertility expert, Dr. David Knight. Welcome to the show, Dr. Thank you very much. That menopause, yeah, menopause can hit women at really any age, and women who are, you know, are getting it younger and younger. Is that right? There are uh, the average age of menopause is fifty-one point seven in uh, the Caucasian population. That's young. Yes, from my perspective, it is. Mm. Yes, that's exactly right. We call premature menopause. Um, where women go through the menopause before the age of 40. And that occurs in around about 10% of women. Mm. Wow, that's quite, quite high. Look, it's, you know, play cards on the table. Is there any way of avoiding it completely? <laughs> can, is there something you can take? For instance, if you stayed on the pill, could you avoid it indefinitely? That will certainly reduce the symptoms that women would get. Uh, the problem with staying on something like the oral contraceptive pill is that it's a relatively high dose of hormones because it's supposed to stop the ovaries from working. So it comes with, with more long-term health problems than perhaps some of the hormonal preparations we use. Hmm. Mm. So, you know, with the hot flushes and the moods, I've always had mood swings. I've never oh, known, at every stage of my life, I've just been cranky one minute, <laughs> happy the next. But with the menopausal mood swings and hot flushes, like, is there something that you can do to reduce them? There's two particular ways that we try and help people with dealing with some of those symptoms. The first way is trying to... Tell me it's wine. <laughs> tell me it's glasses of wine, David. Please <laughs> tell me that. Unfortunately, the wine can increase some of the hot flushes, oh. but it can decrease some of the other issues that come with it. And we think it's probably the antioxidant resveratrol that's in the wine. So um, red wine yeah, specifically red wine. then? That's okay. right. It comes from the skin of the grapes, so I'm told. Okay. Um, and that can help deal with some of the other things that, that women um, can experience. Mm. There have been discussions that taking various hormones can lead to increased uh, occurrence of breast cancer and then Correct. others perhaps increased incidence of ovarian cancer. What are the facts? A lot of this stemmed from a really, really, really big study that was published around about 2000 called the Women's Health Initiative. Mm -hmm. And that showed an increase in the incidence of breast cancer in women who took HRT from around the ages of 60 onwards. Over the next 15 years, we've re-looked at all of that data and it's become relatively clear that some preparations might increase the risk of breast cancer, mm. whereas others actually decrease it. And so if we um, prescribe oestrogen by itself, we can see almost a third reduction in the incidence of breast cancer. Whereas if we use oestrogen and a progesterone, which protects against endometrial cancer, cancer of the lining of the womb, that does increase breast cancer risk. Wow. Wow. So what do you do? Which way do you go? Well, I, look, there's a new preparation that's come onto the market that I think is actually quite exciting. And it has oestrogen in it, which does the good stuff, yeah. stops hot flushes, night sweats, looks after the body, you know, including the skin, which re reduces wrinkles, which is a, which is a great thing for women. Um, and it's got a, um, another type of compound in it, which we call a serum, and that binds just to the receptors that oestrogen bind to in the lining of the womb. So it prevents the incidence of cancer of the lining of the womb, but it doesn't have any effect around the rest of the body. Mm. So you're kind of getting the good stuff from oestrogen, yet reducing the risk of, of cancer of the lining of the womb. You know how you said it helps, like, decrease wrinkles? Well, if you're well past menopause, I'm just asking for a friend of mine, <laughs> could you just take it anyway? Um, is it too late? No, I don't think it is. One of the fantastic things about oestrogen, and, and it can be used either as a tablet or some oestrogen cream, is it actually does reactivate the skin to thicken up. Now, mm. it takes a little bit of time to, to get there, but we see quite a reduction in... Um, in wrinkles because you get an increase in skin thickness and that's what everyone says you need to do with cosmetics. And you also said there's some hope for some of these women who do go through menopause early 
uh, with some of these developments that, that, that they still might be able to have children. This is one of the most exciting things that I think has come over the last uh, probably three to five years and it's, there are two ways of going about this. This is, this is about stem cell uh, treatment. Yeah. We know about stem cells these days. Yeah. It's still experimental, but there have been publications of women who have been menopausal, who have had this treatment and then had babies. Mm. Wow. The two types are called, uh, it's overscience, it's called the augment process. They take bits of ovary and cut them up and then put them in solutions and that activates the stem cells and then they're put back into the body. So a couple of operations. Uh, the other process is called the Inovium process and that's by putting what we call platelet um, enriched plasma into yeah. the ovaries and we, we're hoping that that actually activates the stem cells in the ovaries to get women again producing eggs where they weren't previously. It's really exciting. That is exciting. Amazing. That is amazing that is technology. So, so yeah. fantastic. Um, Dr. David Knight, thank you so much for joining us and talking us through it. Of course, always check with your doctor for some personal uh, medical advice. Dr. David Knight, who's a medical facility, thank you very much for thank joining us. Thank you very much, ladies. Now, ahead this morning...